This is Apocrypha. Hey, how's it going and welcome back to the channel, Skyrim and the Dragonborn DLC. Okay, we're still in Solstheim, but before we can return to Sunny Skyrim, we still have three more black books to find, and this video is the first of those three. So, having completed the Reluctant Steward quest, and I've left a link in the description and at the end of this video on that quest, we have gained the black book, The Hidden Twilight, and that means another visit to Apocrypha. So, let's crack on. Okay, we start by reading the book. Now, you can obviously read the book during the quest, but I like to uh, get the book, pop into Apocrypha, read the book, pop back out, and do this in my own time. So, into Apocrypha and hit the first scry. Now I've done this in a way where you should be able to come back if you get turned around you can always come back to this video and find out where you are. Okay there's always a search pod just under here which I think an awful lot of people miss. Okay read chapter two. Now keep your eyes peeled on this one because uh, sometimes where you spawn near a book um, a seeker's there uh, who will attack you straight away so always be prepared. Okay, there's a seeker there. And there's always one to the left here. I can hear him. There he is. Okay, lovely. And it's always worth searching these guys. You can pick up some pretty good scrolls and uh, spells. Nom nom. And just hook, take a hook up to the left here. Now on this one you want a quick save. Uh, the bridge kind of folds up. So what you want to do is run along it while it's folding up and then jump. That's why you want a quick save. And quick save before you make this jump as well. Wee bonk. Oh, this is a pain that bit. Now again, quick save. Because as it's coming up you want to jump on it and then quickly run down it. There you go, now run. It's quite easy to balls that up. Okay, hook your left down here. And some soul gems and a search pod. And I think a yep, conjure seeker spell book. Nom nom. Yeah, take them and sell those. And just come back down this way. Okay, open chapter three. Okay, to the left is a search pod. Uh, 
And I've already got that. Watch out for the tentacles on here. Oh, no, we have to go upstairs. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, you have to quickly uh, hook up here. And hit that scry to bring the steps out. Now occasionally a seeker will spawn here um, and you can shoot them from distance. Okay, so just drop back down. And search him, what's he got? Okay, nom nom, a few uh, soul gems. A few grands. Always worth grabbing. Okay, there's always a lurker back here. Take him out. Good night. Can't remember if there's a search pod here. No, there isn't. Okay, quite often people get confused at this point here. I'll show you where the book is. That you need to hit. And open that one. There's the seeker I was telling you about. Now my magic resistance is really high, so don't really bother me too much, but uh, if yours isn't, beware. Okay, hit that scry. Chapter 3 again. Are you back where that book is? Okay, round here to the left. And up here. Hit that scry. And that opens up the gates. There you go. Nothing here. Yeah, this one's actually quite a confusing one. You, it's very easy to get lost in here. I mean, they're all they're all quite confusing. So when you hook a right, run up here, hit the scry, opens up those gates. There's always a seeker around here somewhere. Take him out so you don't get backdoored. There he is. Good night. Okay, you want to go all the way around uh, to the side here. So you go behind that wall. There you go, through here. And that just uh, opens up the path, so just grab the search pod. Lots of rare books in here. Okay, this kind of throws people as well. So you've got book five and you've got book six, so hit book five first. Okay, what you want to do is hit this scry. Always a seeker here. Take care of him. That's a good spell. It's a very good spell actually. Okay, you've now got three skill books. 
alteration nom nom and destruction nom nom no I'll take that anyway I'm not sure I got it and search pod here there I'm sure I've got these doesn't matter okay back and read the book again you don't need to grab that stuff if you don't want to but hey why not okay now read chapter six Still nervous, another seeker popping up. Chapter 8 and uh, chapter 7, so read chapter 7. Oh, this is a high seeker. Ooh. They do do more damage. There's some rare books in here. Um, I think I've got those. Activate your scry and run back and read the book again. Okay, now read chapter 8. There's another seeker right in front of you. Take care of him. And there's some soul gems up here, a nice nommy nommy black soul gem. Uh, Ebony flesh, not bad. Okay, now. There's always going to be two lurkers up here, so be prepared for a bit of a battle. These guys do do serious damage. That's one. Take care of him. And two. Job done. Yeah, watch out for the tentacles. These guys have always got decent loot. And it's a neck of mine itself. That'll do. Lovely. Nom nom. Uh, no, there's no such pod here, I don't think. Anyway, hit the scry. I may have missed a search pod or two, but um, I don't think I have. But uh, you guys can take your time and look around a little bit. A bit more detail. Search vessel. These where you get the better loot. And you know, I've already got that enchantment. Black soul gems. Nom nom. Soul brand healing. Come here. Come study. Scroll of paralyze. Scroll ebony flesh. Okay, that's it. Now let's read the Black Book. Uh, this is one of the Black Books are a little bit on the rubbish side, in my opinion. Um, the three powers are uh, Mora's Agony, uh, that summons a field of writhing tentacles that poison foes. Now remember, this is also the primary effect placed on Mirak's personal staff, uh, making this a bit redundant, to be honest. Mora's Grasp freezes a target between Oblivion and Tam Tamriel for 30 seconds, making them immune to all damage. Could be good for your followers or NPCs you don't want to be killed in certain situations or if you're being swamped by enemies. Mora's Boon fully restores your health, magicka and stamina once per day with combat stopping when you open your inventory to use potions. This is kind of redundant in my opinion. Uh, it could be good for when you're uh, in certain boss battles, but again a bit rubbish, but it's the one that I will take.
But don't forget, you can always return here to change whatever power you have um, simply by reading the book. Um, but you must be in Soul's time to do that. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found it useful. And uh, catch you next time. Later. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.